Welcome to day five of 21. Today's readings come from Psalms 29 verse 11, Psalms 34 in verse 14, and Isaiah 26 in verse 3. Also, Matthew 14, 22 through 23, and John 14, verse 27. Today, we're going to focus and thank God for His peace um, that He's providing us every single day of our lives. Jesus knew that we would need peace in the world, so He left His peace with us. Oftentimes, we get so caught up in what we're doing that we become overwhelmed and anxious. Jesus says, do not let your heart be troubled. So let's thank God for his peace that he has promised us, each and every one. Let's receive the right peace for the right moment right now, because he's assured us of his peace. And he's making us aware of his peace in our lives today, in this moment. Jesus has the ability to give us peace in the midst of trials and storms and circumstances, but not even in the absence of a storm, he can also give us peace. So it's not always about the storm that we need peace. He is our peace. He's broken down every wall, every partition. The world didn't give it to you and the world can't take it away. So don't give your peace away today. Hold on to your peace. Your peace is Jesus. Let's pray. God, thank you for taking my anxious thoughts and filling me with your peace. I pray today for help to remember that the challenges and struggles that I face are opportunities to be filled with peace. And I would ask that you would help me to be more aware of your peace in my life, in my family, in my church, and in my situations. I thank you for the peace that you've given me. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today on your journey of peace. As you travel today, just know that God has given you peace, not just in the storm, but in life. Have a wonderful day. God bless.